Hello, I'm Emma. Welcome to my channel. This is Soda Emma. Um, this is a channel all about sewing, size inclusive passions, body positivity, and yeah, this is Friday Sews, so I'll catch up with you. Uh, Friday Sews is a brilliant hashtag started off by the lovely Jane from Today in Jane's Sewing Room, and it's an opportunity to for all YouTube creators to come together using the hashtag um, to talk about sewing, craft and a bit of life if we so shall want to discuss. So there we go. Um, yeah, so I do enjoy coming to Friday Sews. It's nice to have a little bit of a chilled catch up isn't it I don't know if it's so chilled because I'll probably get ex excited about talking about what I've achieved this week so first off first and foremost the Tuesday my collaboration vid video with um, Sofa Serenity Adele the wonderful Adele um, we came together to do the Caroline Pajamas by Closet Core Patterns. This pattern was on both of our make nines. So it was so nice to just take another make nine make plan off that list. Still got loads to do. But I'm not pressuring myself, but I do get excited about thinking about doing another one. We'll see. Um, I want to be... I think I did four last year, so I want to get to five. I think that's a nice achievement. So I'm on one. I think I'm on three. So I've got another two. It could be achieved this year, so yes. I don't know about. I think the next one I would do would be the Closet Core Petra Pants. And also the ZD jumpsuit. Definitely. Um, yes. Maybe the Casey Coat by Stylark as well. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, that should be fairly simple to do. Excuse the rain. Um, I, I know I ran the Yorkshire So Girl. Will approve of this. There we go. I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm quite happy that I just got in the door before that started. From my afternoon doggy walk. It's peeing down the rain, but it's still like clammy. It's just not clearing. It's like so humid. It's ugh, sticky. I'd rather have it cold and rainy than hot and sticky and rainy because from wearing a coat and walking, you get warm and you want to strip it off. And you can't because it's pain down and you're like, oh, oh. So, anyway. So, if I haven't already, I'll pop a link up here or here. And you can go and check out my video as well as Adele's video. I'll pop a link as well. You can go and check. Adele's video too. I love Adele's videos. Especially when she does um what you call it? Especially when she does pattern reviews and the luxury box unboxing of So Holy Jane. In fact, I just lived through her with all our subscription boxes. I do still want to get the Fabric Godmother subscription box. I think that's one that's like singing to me at the moment. Anyway, that is not the only exciting thing that's happened this week. If 
you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you will have seen that. Uh, the Protea Curve or and the Protea Regular. The new pattern from Megan Nielsen um, is out. Finally, it's been a while since um, we submitted the feedback and photos and all the rest of it from testing. So I was like, when is this coming out? And it came out on Saturday. So it was lovely to see and I could wear it and I showed it off at Salton, which I'll talk about in a moment. And I know some of you will be sitting going, come on, tell me about it. Uh, yeah, so the Protea comes in two size ranges. So you've got the 0 to 20 and then 14 to 32, I think. Um, yeah, so I'll pop in the size, sizes there for the whole two ranges. So it will be from 2X to maximum. Okay. Um, yes. So the pretty is really good. It comes with two sleeves options. So fitted or a flutter sleeve. Comes with two neck line options. You've got a scoop around neck or a um, square neck. Comes as a dress, but you can make a top and a skirt from it as well. So, so many, so many options. So, really versatile pattern. So, if you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link in below. No affiliate link just being nice here as I am so. okay so the moment that you be all oh, been waiting on maybe so soon so I left on Friday no I left on Sunday morning got down it took me half seven half nine it took me about just over two and a half hours uh it was it was a nice drive because the roads were quite quiet um at half seven eight twenty eight in the morning even down in newcastle they weren't too busy so the e1 i drove from edinburgh to newcastle so that was easy and it was really easy to get to um yeah really really easy to get to so I parked up and Tamron, Tamron jumped out and then Rachel jumped out and I think we ran jumped out as well so I was like, hey! <sighs> See when you just driven out, got out of the car after two and a half hours as you're like, give me the coffee. <laughs> I am. Because I forgot my co first coffee in the morning because I was rushing around like a hooligan after sleeping in. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so got in, settled, and then I did a wee bit of sewing, and then Tamlin said, oh, we're going to fuss with fabrics. Whoever wants to come, we'll take a few cars, and I'll try and get in, as, as try, and, try and get into the cars as many as we can, so minimise cars going. But anywho, we got to fuss with fabrics, and the lovely Julie opened up for us. Um, and I'll pop in a little video so you can see all the fabric and I'll show you what I bought.
so what do you think not the first time that i've been to first fair for first fabrics because i've been there january 2019 it was quite busy then when i popped in um it was like when they opened as well so i think it was 10 o'clock in the morning or something but it was still quite busy so i went in because i had some um birthday money to spend then so anyway this time yes i bought fabric We'll go with this, what I bought first. Yeah, there was two instances. Oopsie. So, this gorgeous viscose fabric, it kept singing to me. Um, reason being, it just kind of reminds me of a William Morris kind of monsoon, um, print um it's gorgeous um it's not it is kind of opaque in a way so yeah so yeah um and it's just lovely it's been washed so it kind of looks a wee bit worse for wear because i've not ironed it i'll iron it when i just before i um cut into it still deciding what i want to wear this could be a lovely pair of summer trousers. Not quite sure. Or it could be a nice dress, like the Rita dress um, from Named. I would like to get that pattern, and I've still not got that pattern. So yes, um, I'm still on. I'm still on the fence about the plans for this, but I really like that, and I could not get it out of my head. But the other two are not prints. This one is a lovely bamboo jersey. Kinda, I wouldn't say nabbed off Rachel, cause Rachel had this in a pile. And then Tamlin and Ruan said, you've already got that. And Rachel couldn't remember, but they distinctly remembered that she got quite a bit of it last time so I was like well it would be a shame for it to go to waste do you mind if I have it and it was down to £3.50 a metre and there was like two metres left so bargain seven quid for two metres um yeah really really good so I'm gonna make a Adrian blouse out of this I think it would work really nice I've made a, at least one Adrian blouse in a bamboo knit and yeah, really suits it. Love the drape. Um, I'm going to get big sleeves on it, so that should be good. The second, or the third fabric out of the second batch is this gorgeous, it's very similar colouring. I'm all about the lilac pinks at the moment. Um. It's a viscose jersey and it's got a fleece back. Look, it's so, so soft. I think it's washed okay actually. Um, um, and it's got so much stripe. So I'm thinking maybe the peppermint slouchy cardigan, which is a free pattern. And then there's the other one called the Harper cardigan by St. Clair Patterns. And that's also a free pattern. So yeah. Uh, definitely thinking about that but yes that was so nice came back had a bit of lunch I took a pat lunch I think most people brought food with them and um, got chatting to so like Dottie Alison which was lovely she gave me clear elastic I think it's swimwear elastic because um, she knew that I was going to start doing swimwear of my own and that was really sweet of her because she said she wasn't going to use it I was like are you sure I was kind of taken back wasn't it completely I don't expect these things so I'm always quite surprised <laughs> taken aback so thank you Alison that's very much appreciated um 
it was so nice to meet Tavlo and Tavlo and Noel. Um, Leon, I think. No, that's her second name. Anyway, Tamron's mum. Hi, love you. People on my phone. Yeah. So, and then we met Linda, because I knew Linda so on. Um, when her husband Alan picked her up, Alan came over and sort of introduced himself. I was like, oh, sweet. I think I make, I, I do make them laugh. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> Hello, Alan and Linda. Nice to see you again. Um, yeah, quite devastated that I didn't get a photo with Linda and vice versa. But next time, Linda, next time, um, we will get a photo. Um, it will probably definitely be a Sunday that I come down. Because I might just make the most of the weekend. <sighs> Who knows? <laughs> hotel that I stayed in was the best Western Kent hotel. It was up fine. Um, they've got a bar, they've got a restaurant as well. Didn't use either of them. I was um, completely knackered after Soten. It was a lovely day but I was knackered. Um, yeah, it's just like it takes a bit of me getting used to a new environment like my hearing or lack of hearing. So it's just just getting balanced and things like that and lots of sounds and stuff that you have to get used to um so that just that just takes a wee bit of me getting used to the surroundings no one else just just me so yeah i was a bit knackered so luckily i had stopped on the way to the hotel i got some juice and i had bits and pieces left over from my pat lunch so I just had that for dinner and I watched TV in the hotel room by myself. It was lovely. Just me. <laughs> I mean I was half tempted maybe just to get a little physical but I was like well I'll leave first thing and go up up back home. Um I was like, I could sleep in. I'll, I'll see when I get up because my phone just was running low. I know that at night. And then it did run out of battery probably just before I woke up because it was dead. I was like, I'm great. I'm going to have to run the car because I had forgotten my, my plug for my phone. Typical. Um, that was a bit annoying. But never mind. Um, so I remembered... And I figured out how to get out of Newcastle upon time and head up home. So that was really good. Um, and the phone eventually switched on. Me plugging it and all the rest of it in the car. So that was fine. Got got my juice in my phone. That's fine. So I got home. I think it was about half nine. Yes, I left at seven. <laughs> but yeah, I'll pop in um, a wee video of the hotel if you want to look at it. Um, it, it was nice in the room, bed was comfy, had a good sleep, woke up at 6, couldn't get back to sleep so I just hopped in the shower, got ready and went. So I was out the hotel at quarter to 7. I think the guy was like, oh you're not having breakfast? I was like, no, didn't book it, going. <laughs> got a crisp, got juice, I'm fine. <laughs> so yeah. I got a coffee when I got back home. <laughs>
enjoyed this little babble. Um, I have got another exciting collaboration coming out on Tuesday, I think. Um, I'll confirm over the weekend and I'll pop a wee notification up on the community tab just to double check and well just to put it out there maybe on Monday um so you know that there's a video coming you're welcome so many exciting things happening this month lots of plans lots of makes to do yeah stay tuned so without further ado I'm gonna let you and leave you I'm gonna leave a couple of nature scenes for you so you can have a little look at that and take care i'll see you next friday but of course i'll be with you on tuesday for a collab and have fun take care bye <laughs>